My name is Maureen Ross. I was a child in the seaboard villages of Easter Ross when Balan McCangas was around. She was a neighbour of mine. Balan was born on the 27th of May 1889 to Georgina Sutherland from Sutherland and Joseph Collis from the Isle of Man. They had both met whilst working away at the herring fishing. She was brought up by her mother, her uncle Donald on her mother's side, and sister Elspeth, all native Gaelic speakers with very little English, if any at all. Galan was also known as Mossy. This was the nickname of her grandfather, Donald Sutherland. She was the only wage earner at home and had elderly family to support. Belan worked tirelessly to keep the whole family going, which mainly included buying, preparing and selling of fish. And it is in this task that Belan herself became a legend. As a child, I just knew her as Belan, who gave me sweeties. In 1969, Fred Macaulay spent a lot of time with Bellan, interviewing her in her own home in Hilton. Hanan trichti ye mishig hara mit kaunrag di badenuch kaud a balachrich fashket balentoid an shurach krosh to venir shurach krosh. Who Every those be a down patience. And uh, my father was a patience and my mother was a patience. My father belonged to Rockfield and Port Mahomet and my mother belonged to Hilton. My granny, who we used to go on holiday, lived in Seven Buck Street, Hilton. That's when I got to know Belan McConkers. She lived beside my auntie Jessie. Jessie who lived at the end of the street. And there was a little venal between the houses and the lawn was 
the next text. Myself and my brother, we were twin, Charlie and Dan, we called it. And we were down on holiday. Now, don't you laugh at this. We were going down to see my auntie Jesse, Charlie and I. That was about 1947, I would say. My granny was glad to get rid of us, you see. And uh, when we were going down the bed, the lawn, she didn't have an inside toilet. It was a toilet, a dry lava at the end of the garden. She was a big, stout woman. She always wore long dresses and dark clothes, which is they all did in the village in. And of course, she couldn't go into the toilet to shut the door. She had to prepare herself outside. <laughs> and when Charlie and I would go down, we looked down and here was the lad. She had lifted up her, her skirt and her, her bloomers, we called it then, was doing it in her ankles. And this is just straight out, and she's reversing herself into the toilet. <laughs> well, Charlie and I, we didn't know what to do or say or anything. But we started laughing, and she saw us then, you see. She gave it a yell, hey, what are you doing? And of course, Charlie and I ran back home, up to my granny, you see. And uh, uh, about 20 minutes later, Belan came up to my granny's door and knocked at the door. And she says, your garrisons, as they call the bearings to the Houghton, it's your garrisons then. Why? Well, they, they were watching me do my moonax as a garlic, or do the toilet, you see. They were, they were watching me do my moonax. My granny didn't care much for what she was saying at all, and I told her to get away out of here. And of course, she came through to give us a row in the back kitchen. And she took a fit of laughing. <laughs> I'll ne never ever forget that. <laughs> Look at me, show. Fall at me, show. I got an ammunition show. What I do remember quite clearly is the smell in the air because you knew when Balan was smoking fish because the whole street just had that aroma of, of smoke spellings and it was, well, we grew up and we loved it. We liked that smell, so um, that's what I, I remember as a child. I've always had a great passion for the history and the culture of the seaboard. From a very young age, I was told about the tasks of the fishwives and having lived next door to Belan and personally knowing her as a child, I knew that this was a very hard lifestyle. Run. I can see King Taffy. I can see who can very nicky in two. I can see I can see Grayest. Jenny Spiao Tucker. It's red, sunny nut. Smoky to watch. Correct beat on that. 
Smoky Chukov Orthodati Sta Orthodati Sadati Yerek Yeri Rafim Nakash Gel Verin Jir Tennis Baker Akash Horin Namaskulak Rafim Nakash Gina Fiorando Vamishum Huar Anina Fiora Uami Uami Hunder White Poet Yes. <laughs> Sanatum <laughs> Took me da bola. Nice crack me the poet. Old school more years the poet. Nice va va kadak as a restaurant and in a fiona. As ut me re not good chef signal man does a dun. Took me just me smith to canyur. Yeah, by her cherok. Took me to jail, retaining. My name is Diana Wood. I was born, brought up in Hilton, well, not born in Hilton, I was born in Bilaldi, just a few miles away. But I grew up in Hilton and knew Bellarm very well. She was quite a part of our childhood. If there was a group, she would take the lead, without anybody realising that she was taking the lead. She had very definite views on things and wasn't frightened of faith. Letting them rip. <laughs> I think that's the best way I can put it. At the time of the war, I'll put it like this, some of the hierarchy up in the Eurodrome took their wives up from south. And one of the wives appeared quite early in the war. This wife was very, very elegant woman, but very uh, painted you know what I mean by that. She was in full regal makeup. Her hair was certainly not a normal colour. And she was dressed in the very latest styles. And she was quite a revelation to the women of the village who were still going around in aprons and blocks. Block was all the go after you reached 35. And in those days for women, they went into dark clothes in their early 30s with aprons. So there they were, this few women were standing at the post office, having a natter and garlic probably, when this lady came to post a letter. And they watched her coming across the street to post the letter. And they saw her opening her lovely handbag, talons, painted bright red, picking her letter and post it, and she said, good morning. And they all sort of mumbled her reply and she turned and off she went and there was silence for a few moments and then Bella Ann said it's a pity she pees but that wasn't the word she used in other words she's no different to any of us whether she thinks it or not <laughs> I'm still at a dream, 
Börstay Gunbal Kazimina Kiari Kiari Mura Bupoichu Nilianaka Akasma Nakala Kok Akas Yeshun Bona Horace Taskular Dum Galawach Galawach Yeshe Yeshe Galawach Tuashadati Tazam Kazimina Aren't Katsunokuwa Gwinneri Maya di Creta Cinta Gala Wisharot Akska Kadako Kachai Akska Taskula Ramon Bata Tati Dura Ochmiliana Ka Makana Tengia Pianis Vaina Trafet Blunyan Atakana, six weeks after the 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 narrow track of the town, the night boots, death, and come water, the 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 the water, the water, the Ah, nice. A
Thanks very much. Um, wonderful musicians, a beautiful job, I'm sure you all agree. There'll, there'll be another showing of the film. If you really enjoyed it and you want to see it again, it'll be shown again at 2.30. So thanks very much, folks.